There is currently 15 minutes until Deadman Mode gets released. Now, I have never played Deadman Mode before. Deadman Mode Armageddon will be my first ever Deadman. And the reason I'm doing this is because I was supposed to be going to a party this evening. However, I still have the Rona. My tests are still positive, and that means I cannot go outside. I mean, I could do, but I'm a good boy. I don't want to make people ill. So instead, I thought I'd make a video. It's been a while since I've made a video on this channel, and I thought I could help people try and get some of the rewards. Now, the rewards are pretty cool. You can get recolored god capes. You can also get recolored items. There's a new teleport animation and some rugs for your player-owned house. And I thought some Iron Men may want to go ahead and get them, even if they've never played Dead Man mode before like myself so the easiest way to do it i think is just going to be by questing and leveling up and also trying to get kills at breaches if you can so you get points for doing pretty much anything so breaches give points quests give points skilling gives points uh sorry skilling leveling up gives points uh, opening clue scrolls doing combat achievements uh killing bosses the first time you kill a boss you'll get 10 times the amount of points as well i'll throw some stuff up on the screen for you so you can see it but the whole point of this little mini series slash I'm hoping it's all in one video to be honest is we're going to go from start to finish of getting ourselves 30,000 points so we can buy every single reward. Not that I particularly want every single reward but I thought it'd be fun to go on Deadman mode. I've never done it before as I've said about four times already and I think it'll be fun just to go through and experience it. I might die a load. I might get angry. It might take me five days to do this but let's have fun along the way. So fingers crossed it goes well and I'll join you back when we can log onto the server. I don't know what's happened. I just got kicked out and it's asking me where I want to teleport to. Oh, wow. Okay, there's a lot of people here. All right, okay, we good. We good. Okay, let's go. Right, we've got a bit of protection. Uh, yeah, let's put an entity hider first. <laughs> I'd recommend you all put an entity hider. Let's just claim all my stuff first. Ghost Beak Amulet. Yes, ask for training items. Let's just try and get as much as we can. Uh, Dead Man Starter Pack. I probably want to go ahead and open that. Ask for training items. There we go. Get that stuff. Right. Let's make our way over to the Stronghold of Security and get 15... 25? 25 agility at the course. Right. Who do we talk to? Nigel. Teleport. I'll sort out all my stuff afterwards. I really need to sort absolutely everything out here. I'm going to run to the bank and bank all of this first. We do have an hour of protection, though, so we should be fine for a little bit. So I got the Sigil of Abyss. No idea what that is, but we'll attune it anyway. Might as well. Uh, I don't know which ones these I want. So your melee accuracy is increased by a plus 30 stab slash. That sounds pretty good. Upon dealing magic damage, you have a 10% chance uh, to curse a target. The curse target... Deals 15. I'm going to take that one. Yeah, we'll take that. Your choice. Yes. Don't know if it's a good one or not. We're going to attune that. There we go. And put that in the bank. Perfect. We have two attuned now. We've got some food on us. Got our money. Right, let's head over and get that 15 agility. I also need to sort out my F keys because they're a mess. Once you're 25 agility, head north and start the Grand Tree Quest. Well done, Jagex. No one can enter the doors. <laughs> what is it? Why don't they just leave the doors open? <laughs> oh, I can't get through. I'm screwed. Oh, I made it through. Yes. Okay. Just RNG that. Hopefully when you start this, you'll be able to get through the door straight away. Right. Start the quest. You want to go down here. We're not going to complete the quest. We're going to talk to him. And then when he wants us to move away, we're going to go and start the waterfall quest. There we go, start the Grand Tree. Yes, so we've at least started it. And then when it wants us to go and speak to Hazelmere. Perfect, leave. So head back up here, and then we want to go down and start the Waterfall quest now. Uh, if we can get back out, of course, that is. Right, I can't get out this way. Apparently, you can get a Draymond Staff. Let me check my bank, actually. See if I've got a Draymond Staff in the bank. Uh, I'm going to get a Draymond Staff and head over to... What's the agility shortcut you need to get over here? I don't think there is an agility shortcut. So I should just be able to teleport directly to ALP as long as I have a staff, a Draymond staff. I do perfect. Right, let me teleport to Lumbridge. I just cannot get out of that door. So yeah, bit of a diversion here, but it's fine. We can make it work. One good thing as well, while you're running around, if you can, just try and attack as many NPCs as you can just to get some basic mage levels. You'll find a lot of people are doing this, so you might struggle a little bit, but yeah. I'm just heading over to the south of the Mages Tower now, and then I'm going to teleport to ALP just so I can start the Waterfall quest. Uh, again, very inconvenient, but first time playing Deadman mode, didn't realize it was going to be this busy. 
Look at that, the beauty of this. I'm also going to do speak to the guy at the Barbarian Outpost as well. That way I can just teleport back up here if I ever need to. Please don't say it's going to take me four years to get over this, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not die. No, I've bottled it. I've already used three food. I'll go to the Magruba Woods and run from there. Again, very inconvenient, but ALS it is. Okay, so once you have the Book of Braxtorian, you want to head back to Lumbridge. Unfortunately, I cannot teleport back to Lumbridge. I've got to wait for the, uh, the spell cooldown because I had to teleport away from the Grand Tree. But if you're doing this, go back to Lumbridge and then head towards Draenor and I'll meet you at Draenor. I've got to go back to the Fairy Ring. I can just teleport to DIS and then head to Draenor that way. Again, this, uh, this plan has been foiled a little bit, but it's fine. We'll get back on track. We can absolutely do this still. I'm a little worried about the PvP protection, but... We'll just make the most of it and see how far we can go. I've noticed as well, I've already got 1,200 points. Like I said, I don't think the points are going to be too difficult to grab. I've pretty much banked all of my food and everything. Where's the Fortuna guy? Here he is. There is no wines in stock. I thought they were going to make things restock. Right, okay, that's that out of the window. Let's go to Diango, get ourselves a Chronicle. So buy yourself a Chronicle and... Yeah, everything's so expensive. I really did think that the stocks are going to recharge, like, instantly. I didn't mean to teleport. Why is my left click teleport? Right, I've bought myself some starter runes. Hopefully, this should be fine. I've got no cash left, though, but I'm going heading over to Hazelmere, which is CLS. We're carrying on with the Waterfall quest next, so I need to go over to the Tree Gnome Stronghold. So, on our way past Hazelmere, I'm going to chop down six trees uh, to get six logs. However, I've been chopping this tree for like five minutes and I cannot get a log. Come on. We'll need these for quests anyway, so you might as well grab them now. There we go. Let's go. All right, we've got Galerial's Pebble. Now it is time to do the Tree Gnome Village, seeing as we're already here. So go through, do this entire quest. Again, this should be some good points for getting this quest done, and we should get some very nice levels as well. Okay, what on earth is this? Look at the state. This is going to be very interesting. Hopefully I don't get killed. There we have Tree Gnome Village completed. A hundred and something thousand XP that was. 51 attack, level 20 combat. Now we can teleport here. That should have gotten me some points, actually. Look at that, 2,100 points. Teleport to number two. We'll go and do the Grand Tree quest now, which we already started before. Oh, no, we're stuck on the door again. The, the, the fabled door. This is actually going to get me killed. If I, I'm going to lose my protection to a freaking door. This is horrible, Jagex. Why have you done this to us? Let me through! Oh, I made it through. Okay, that took uh, nearly two minutes. It's nice. By the time I've done this quest, I'm 100% going to have zero PvP protection, but I honestly just don't know what else to do. Um, there's going to be loads of people doing this quest for, you know, pretty much the entire first couple of hours. So no matter what, I have to just brute force my way through this and hope I can survive when someone inevitably attacks me. All right, I just I cannot do I cannot do this quest right now. I'm going to teleport away. Uh, I'm going to go and do fight arena and probably waterfall quest because this is just impossible right now and it's actually winding me up. I'm losing all my protection. I'm attackable in 11 minutes. Yeah. Right, I need a rope. I want to get waterfall quest done first. So I'm a good combat level. So I want to go to Ardy. So I think DJP. I really hope there is a rope there because if there's not a rope, I really don't know what I'm going to do. So fingers crossed there's a rope in the Ardy General Store. Nine minutes of PvP protection left. Someone's going to kick my head in soon. Right, there's a rope there. I'll buy a ball of wool as well. I think I have everything I need for the waterfall quest. Let's just go and do this as quick as I can. I'm pretty sure these Moss Giants can hit a 13 on me. Please don't hit me on the way back. Oh, zero. So lucky. So lucky. So lucky. All right. I hope someone hasn't stolen my uh, runes either. Yeah, someone stole them, honestly. Scumbags of dead man mode. Right, I'll run down and grab uh, grab my runes out of the bank. There we go. Waterfall quest done. Some absolutely massive levels there. 53 strength and 59 uh, attack. How many points is that now? That is 2,780. I have two minutes left of PvP protection. 
I don't know what I'm going to do. I honestly am struggling a little bit here. I'm probably going to go and do... Can I teleport away from here? I cannot, okay. Uh, I'm probably going to run out of here and then go and do fight arena. I want to try and get up to the next combat bracket just so I can go ahead and get the PvP protection again. And I also... I don't know what level it is, though. I think it's level 50. Let me double check on the worlds, actually. So it should show me in here. So there's 51. Okay, I don't know if fight arena is going to get me there or not. Yeah, my, my plan has been foiled drastically just due to the fact that I could not do the Trinon Village. That's really set me back. I meant the Grand Tree quest. It's official. My PvP protection has run out, which means that anyone can attack me anywhere at any time. So I am very nervous. I'm going to try and do Fight Arena uh, just to get those combat levels. Like I said, this is very dangerous now. I was not, I was really wasn't hoping to be in this stage, but we're here. It's fine. It's the first time playing. Let's just see how we get on. Hopefully we don't die though. Okay, I just completed the fight arena quest. Uh, I went on an absolute tangent about what I was going to do, but I'm going to cut it short. So basically I'm going to run up to Camelot now, get myself some food. I can buy myself some stews, which heal 11 each from the pub. I really need some food. All I have now is two tuners, which obviously isn't enough. Anyone can attack me at any time, which is very, very scary, especially now like I'm in multi-combat. Um, and then I'm going to go and get myself 43 prayer. I'm going to do that. Blue Dragons on the Isle of Soul. I think I need 12 bones, so that shouldn't take too long to get those. That should hopefully get me a few combat levels as well and a little bit closer to 51. If it doesn't get me to 51, I'll have a think about what I can do to get to 51. The main goal for me right now is to get 51 combat, get out of this combat bracket, and get into another one where I'll be safer because I get the other hour of PvP protection. Who sells food? I don't know. I feel much safer now we've got all this food. Obviously, it's still not enough. The HP is looking pretty dull. Um, how much charges? 381. That should be enough for how many kills we need to do with Blue Dragons. I'm going to head over to Blue Dragons now. I think it is BJP for the Isle of Souls. Uh, just need to make sure I do not die to them now. Bank all of this stuff. I don't think there's actually anything worth putting in the bank at the moment. Uh, and I'll just take out 10 of these. Yeah, that should be plenty. I'm not even going to pick up the Blue Dragon Hide. I don't think it'll sell for anything, and I'm really not in a rush to pick it up. If I have space left, I might do afterwards. But for now, then... Oh, I need to get my Dragon Staff. Right, get the Dragon Staff. I'll go and get the the bones. Once we have the bones, I'll head over to the Wildy Altar and get some prayer levels. There is a guy PK in here. He's similar to my level. Hopefully, he does not come and attack me. There are plenty of people to attack here, so... Fingers crossed he goes for some of the noobs instead. All right, and I'm being attacked. Please don't die here. Please get away. Oh, I'm so dead. I am so dead. I don't even know if I can teleport. Oh. Sit, bro. Oh, right. I got four dragon bones. I don't know what to do with four dragon bones, though. Uh, yeah, this is why the PvP protection thing is so important. Oh, damn, my heart is going. I thank God I got those bowls of stew. I don't know what to do. Right, let me figure this out. All right, one thing I'm definitely going to do is try and get myself a fire staff. I could not attack that guy then with my starter staff. I wasn't aware you couldn't attack players of it. Honestly, it kind of makes sense, but... Buy myself a staff of fire, and now if anyone attacks me, I'm going to bring my runes, and at least I can fight back. Don't get me wrong, it's not going to be the best combat, but hopefully if I can fight back a little bit, it should help. Um, I'm going to go into the wilderness, though. I'm going to kill green dragons, I think. I, I honestly don't know what else to do. I'm going to go all out. I'm going to take my gear with me, and I'm going to take all of my food with me, and just hope for the best. Right? Wish me luck, guys. At the minute, these green dragons are completely empty. However, I'm not hitting on them at all with my starter staff. Okay, we are hitting. All right, cool. This one's almost dead. This guy is having a bad day. Please drop some bones. I was kind of hoping for dragon bones, but yeah, sure. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and use these eight bones. I could get super lucky. It's not going to happen, but I'd rather just use these bones. And if I need to, I can recover afterwards because getting these bones, I think is going to be harder than trying to recover. So yeah, I think this is a smart thing to do. I'm going to go ahead and use these bones right now. See what prayer level we get to and then go from there. I mean, there is a guy there. I'm just going to just put use my bones. Yeah. Just use my bones as quick as I can and just eat. 
Keep an eye on my HP. Just keep eating. Keep praying. Got protection from missiles. Perfect. Let's keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right, now get out. What did I get to? 45 prayer? Wait, perfect. That is actually amazing. It doesn't even matter if he kills me now. I got what I needed, so we are absolutely rocking. We might be dead here, but honestly... It's fine. We can recover from this. This isn't too bad at all. Yeah, I have absolutely no food left. I do unfortunately have all of my runes on me though, which is a bit of a shame. GG. Pretty sure I typed there, but yeah. Okay, let's go and financially recover from this. It's fine. Uh, I, we, do we get this again? Oh, perfect. I get my starter staff back. Honestly, that's really not that bad. I am going to go ahead though. What level are we? 49. I am going to go ahead now and do the stronghold of security. So I'll go and do that real quick and then head back down. I'm panicking a little bit now. I wasn't expecting that death, but it's fine. It's okay. Everything is fine. Also, just to be clear, you guys will have protection if you are going for this. The reason I struggled so much is because I wasted so much time having to teleport away from the Grand Tree quest, which I still haven't finished yet and I still need to go and do. So yeah, by the time you come and do this, everything will hopefully have calmed down if you are following along. If you're just watching for the enjoyment, then I hope you enjoyed that death. I knew I was going to die going in there, but I was honestly, I, it was going to happen anyway. People are going to camp that so bad, which again, I don't mind at all. It's dead man mode. I expect to die a few times. I haven't lost that much, uh, apart from a little bit of dignity. Anyway, let's get this 10k back, get ourselves some more supplies again, probably buy myself another staff of fire and then go from there. Right, there we go. That's my 10k. I'm not going to go and get a boost. It's a waste of time. I have just realized I think I lost my dram and stuff. I'm 90% certain I had it on me because I'm a freaking idiot. And if I've lost it, that's it. It's GG is gone. So I will need to go and get myself another one from going chopping the wood, uh, which honestly isn't the best. Um, I do have a gravestone, which means my chronicle is probably up there and a few untradeables. Don't want to risk running into the wilderness though to try and get that stuff back. So for now, I'm going to try and make my starter staff work. How many charges do we have? Wait, we get a free staff with 500 charges again. That's actually really good. I'm going to have a look in the bank and see what I've got and go and try and do the tree on village again. Hopefully it's calmed down a little bit now, though. You took all my food and my drama and stuff. I've got nothing left. Maybe there was nothing I could have done, but we'll put a fire staff in there. Then we've got it at least. I just want to save some money so I don't keep burning through it. Right. Uh, yeah, over to Edgeville and then up to Ardoin. There are people PKing literally everywhere. Where the heck has that guy just gone? That ranger relic must be insane. I've also, this guy here, like he's just killing everyone. Look at him go. What an absolute loon. He's probably going to come for me next. Is he? Is he coming for me? Please don't kill me. Please don't. I've noticed that a lot of people are selling sigils and stuff already as well. I forgot people can trade in this. I'm playing like an Iron Man. And I'm also really hoping that there's not a person on the end of this lever. I just, please... Please don't be anyone here. I'm I can't die again. I can't afford this. Come on. Wish me luck. Wrong option. Yes, and don't ask again. There we go. Please don't be someone there. Okay, we made it. Right. Let's head over to the tree dome village again. Oh, the grand tree. I keep getting these confused. Oh, yeah, it is. Mo Wait, they finally fixed the doors. Jagex, why wasn't it like this on release? Honestly, I'm very disappointed in you. Right, they finally fixed the doors. I, I really should have. It just ruined my plan. I didn't have a backup plan. This is the only plan that I had. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to get back to the Grand Tree. So at the moment, I'm just teleporting back to Lumbridge. I don't even know if that's a smart idea. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to run to the docks. I'm going to run to the docks in Rivington. I can get poison though, but I can buy an anti-poison from there. Yeah, I'm going to run to the docks in Rivington and then get the docks, uh, go over here and then run up from there. I think that's the only way I can do it. Hopefully someone doesn't kick my head in on the way though. Okay, we've made it over here. I think the rest of the journey is pretty safe. So we'll just go to Ardy via the dock uh, and then run up, which I... Actually, I don't even have to run up. I can just use the Kazard teleport over here. So we'll use a spirit tree to go north. This one here, perfect. Uh, I think we're pretty we're pretty safe so far. Didn't take too long to find it. Four searches on the routes. I always thought you found it the first time, or literally on the last go you could possibly find it. 
I didn't realize there was a middle ground. All right, let's see what combat level we get from this quest then. 51 combat. Does that mean we now get protection? You should move to Deadman Mall. Yes. Okay, right. So now I need to get myself ready for Monkey Madness 2. Uh, sorry, Monkey Madness, not Monkey Madness 2. Getting ahead of myself there. Uh, so I'll get myself ready for Monkey Madness, log on to the world, and then do the quest. I'm going to grab everything out of the bank first, though, and make sure I'm ready because I want to make the full usage protection. I don't want another situation where we run out of protection and get Eric kicked in. I lost my gold bars, which I need for Monkey Madness, which means I'm going to have to buy them from the Grand Exchange. God, this is so painful, man. I actually can't use the Grand Exchange in this world. I can't drop items in this. Okay. All right. Looks like I'm going to have to move over and just be fast. I need to buy myself three gold bars and just some random teleport runes. Okay. Let's do this then. Uh, let's pick a good world. Wait. Where are the UK worlds, Jagex? Why are there no UK... Oh, honest, honestly, I... These people. These, these people. I've logged in. I've got a lamp here. Fremenic Exiles or Rolling Elves? Ooh. Do I want to get access to Priftonus? Is that going to help me? That'd do Vork. Yeah, I want to do. So I'm going to do Song of the Elves. Hell yeah, give me that stuff. Does that give me the points for it as well? Yeah, it does. Look at that, nearly five thousand points. Perfect. Okay. Uh, do I get any? No, I thought I was going to get like XP and stuff for completing the quest, but I guess not. So I want to get myself some law runes as well, so I can actually teleport around. So yeah, I'm just going to grab some items. I'll tell you what I've got afterwards though. Right, that'll do. We've got teleports back to Varog, which is the main thing. I've got my gold bar and my ball of wool. Now I want to start. First of all, I'll go over to the Gnome Stronghold. I got 57 minutes of protection left. I need to make the most of this. So now we're going to do Monkey Madness. All right. I think I have everything that I need. The bananas we can get and the monkey cops we can get along the way. So yeah, let's go and do this real quick. Going forward, by the way, whenever I need to get back to the Grand Tree, like then I just come from the shipyard. I'm just going to teleport back to Varrock and then use the Spirit Tree here to get myself back up there. Just to clear things up, I was really struggling then on how I was going to get back, and I was going to run back to Ardy, and I was like, no, that's a stupid idea. Let's just do this instead. It's so much smarter. I've been able to buy any food at the moment, so I'm rocking shrimps. That's pretty much what I've been using for food. I'm trying my hardest not to eat any tuners. Uh, I'm very poor at the moment. I have 16 minutes of protection left, but in 15 minutes, there is a breach. I'm hoping that I can get him to the next bracket for the breach, and then no one can attack me at the breach, so it's completely safe for me. That should be so many dead man mode points because you get a load of points from the breaches. That's the plan anyway. Let's see if it actually goes that way. Um, I will have a bit of time to spare in the bracket. Uh, I've only got 1.2k though, so I don't think I can buy anything. And I don't know if I'll have enough time to make any money. But if I get like, if I can get this done in like five minutes, I might just try and kill a green dragon or two and just sell the bones for some GP so I can actually buy some upgrades. I don't even know what I would buy to upgrade, to be honest. But let's get this quest done first. But that's the plan. Well, it looks like I'm going to be missing the breach. There is no way I can kill that demon. And these are literally just walking around doing nothing. I will die if I attempt to kill this. So, yeah, I really don't know what to do. I mean, I could go and prayer flick it, I guess. I might have to go and prayer flick it and just hope I don't die. Screw it. I'm just going to go to the breach. I mean, if I need to get cash, I can just log on to another account and trade the money over, I guess. I'm, I'm, I haven't got a lot to risk. I'll put some. St I'll put everything in my bank. Um, just take my starter staff and some food and just hope for the best. I don't want to miss this breach. Right, let's go. Where is it? It is in Southern Valamore. How am I supposed to get to Valamore? I hope the quest has been done. I can't even get to Valamore. Where's my pigeon dude? Children of the Sun. Oh, all right. Let's see if I can do this. All right, I've just done Children of the Sun. Uh, hopefully, I can get there and get some kills. It looks... I'm watching the streamers. Uh, it looks very busy. So, hopefully, I go and don't get my head kicked in. But we'll see. Okay, I believe it said south of Valamore. There are people down here. There are people attacking stuff. Let's go. Oh, my God. God, I don't even know what's here. The mage thing. Right, we should just be getting points for this now. I, I need to do damage, though, I believe. 
There are so many people here. I just need to put Entity Hider on, I think, to hide other players. I just cannot see any of the NPCs. There we go. So this is where they spawn out of. So I guess we just wait for the next thing to spawn. It looks like there's someone... Something being attacked over there. Yeah, there is. I should be pretty safe. I shouldn't have to pray anything. I don't think they're going to attack me. But hopefully I should get a lot of points from this. I'll let you know if I get any drops as well. So 5,190 points we're on at the moment. Let's see what we end up with. And hopefully we don't die. So it appears that they must be bugged. Nothing is spawning for the breaches. And I'm watching other people's streams and it looks to be exactly the same. I, th I don't know if this is bugged or whatever. Um, But yeah, I, 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 think it, I think it must be bugged. Yeah, it has to be. There's no way it's this slow. Not from what I've seen on uh, other Deadman modes and stuff. Also, I only got 10 points for killing that mob. So, yeah, this might have been a whole waste of time. Okay, I got some chitin and some sea turtles. Okay, we got something. Yeah, they seem to be spawning all over the place. I just ran down here and found an uh, NPC, so... Looks like there could be something else down here. There's a bee swarm, yeah. Some PvP is over there. I do not want to be near them, boys. Uh, I got some red spider eggs and some chitin. Is that it? Getting away from those PvPers though. That just took about three minutes to kill that. Damn. Okay, it looks like that is it. I, I believe that was the first breach. We didn't die. We didn't do too great, I'm not going to lie. We didn't get a lot of stuff there. We got a bit of food though. I wonder if these sea turtles sell for anything. Hopefully they do. This chitin, no idea once again. And then red spider eggs. They'll probably sell for something for skillers. I'm just going to sell all this stuff. Uh, I need to buy myself a, some more law runes. I've run out of law runes. I've pretty much got no cash either. Uh, let's see how many points we got from that, actually. So, what were we at? 1,900 and... 1,000... Sorry, 5,190. So, we got a decent amount of points there. Only 500 points from that. That honestly wasn't terrible. Right, let's go back to do Monkey Madness. It doesn't matter how long this takes now. I am out of PP, PvP protection, but again, that shouldn't matter. Fingers crossed we do not die. Um, I'll see if I can sell them for a thousand each. No, I, I didn't think they will sell. I'll just try and sell these for anything that I can, really. I need, I need some GP. These sell for 170 GP each, but the GE price is 5k, so I'm going to keep them in there. We got 16k from selling everything else, so hopefully I can buy some upgrades now. Uh, the main priority at the moment, I think, is just trying to get some upgrades and put them in the deposit box. So if we do die, I don't end up losing absolutely everything again. Things that I can just sell back as well would be really good. So let me see what I can grab. I just got myself some teleport jewelry. Um, I've got 2k left and I bought myself a magic amulet and a wizard hat. Not that it's going to help out too much. I bought myself some food. The tuners are 500 each. So yeah, that's where most of my money went. But honestly, at the moment, I don't feel too stressed about this. I feel pretty chill now. My protection is already gone. I feel like I've done the first breach. I can finally start to chill out a little bit. I've realized that getting 30,000 points today is never going to happen, which is not a problem. It's completely fine. Uh, I should be able to get to 6k points today, though, which is pretty much enough to get uh, what I originally wanted, which was the cape recolors. But we'll see how we get on. It's going to take me a lot longer than I thought. I probably will continue to play Deadman mode, though, even even after this first day, because it's been annoying a little bit, but I have also kind of enjoyed it, even though I got my head kicked in and the breach was in a weird location. Again, that, that very well could have been announced beforehand, and I just haven't seen it. Um, but yeah, oversight on my part. Maybe. I hope so. Like I said, I hope Jagex didn't just put the first breach there. That'd be very annoying. Oh yeah, what am I doing? Let's teleport back anyway and do this quest, shall we? Right, let's get Monkey Madness done and dusted. Yes. Oh, damn. I was, my wrist, I've been prayer flicking for... I don't even know how long. 
Wait, who do I talk to? There's a... There's... Hello? There's surely there's someone in here I talk to, right? Or do I just have to return to the king? I'm just going to return to the king and hope everything's okay. I swear if I have to come back and prayer flick that guy again, I will lose my mind. But I think that's it. I think we'll just return to the king now and we should be done. And there we go. Monkey madness completed. 69 quest points as well. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to spend or get my reward points just yet. I'm going to end today here because if I claim my rewards, it'll put me into the next bracket. I'm pretty confident and I do not want to go into the next bracket just yet. I'm going to AFK and skill whilst I edit this video and upload it. But day one, we pretty much will be 6,000 points when I claim that stuff. But we'll say 5,700 points. Four hours and... Oh no, sorry. Three hours uh, and 40 minutes into the tournament. That's really not that bad at all. I'm going to head over to the Grand Exchange now. But yeah, three hours and 40 minutes. Uh, again, I reckon you guys could get to where I am right now in easily two hours without the, the rush at the start and stuff like that. If you guys are interested in this content, by the way, and you are excited to watch me go... Wait, they're different tuners. Anyway, if you're excited to watch me go all the way to 30,000 points, please drop a like on this video. It's very different than what I normally do. I've never played Dead Man before. I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Take care, and I'll see you uh, hopefully tomorrow for a new video. I just went to claim some runes from the magic tutor, and have a look at this, what she wants to give me. A crystal shield or a crystal bow? For now, I'm not going to claim either of those. I'm just going to AFK in the safe zone, like I said, do some woodcutting for now. Um, don't know what is a good thing to train an AFK or in a safe area. If you can find something or know somewhere, please let me know, because I am desperate for AFK time to edit videos and stuff. But, uh... Yeah, that's awesome. I didn't know that. Just bang that in at the end. Okay, final update of the video. I promise. Right, we have just hit 6,000 points just by doing some woodcutting and fletching. I knew we'd get 6,000 points today. So technically, I could go ahead now and buy uh, the cape recolors, which was the only thing I was tempted to even buy. Uh, but yeah, there we go. We finally hit 6,000 points. That's a good goal to end on, I think. I think that's a very good goal to end on, actually. I'm really happy with that. And just before we go, I'd like to give a special thank you to my channel members whose names are on screen right now. If you are looking for an extra way to support the channel, you can become a channel member for as little as £1 a month. Just click the join button below to find out more information. And of course, a special thank you to everyone that supports me over on Twitch.tv. I appreciate you guys so much and thank you.